Take flight morning. My name is Lainey Doran. And my name is Katie Bauer. And I'm Ryan Kennedy with Sports. This is The Horner Report. Hey Holmdel, welcome back to another episode of The Horner Report. My name is Lainey Doran and I'm here with my lovely co-anchor Katie Bauer. Thanks Lainey. I'm very happy to be back. We hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving break filled with food, family and fun. How was your Thanksgiving Lainey? I had a great Thanksgiving. It's always nice to get together with family and friends to celebrate everything we are thankful for. Personally, I am very thankful to be back in the studio and can't wait to hear what stories we have for today's episode. Taking off for today's episode, we're starting with coverage of Homedale's Powder Puff game that took place on November 22nd. Alexia Zambito and Elena Chu have some insight on the juniors and B. Ong will take us over to the winner's sideline with the seniors. Next, we'll toss it over to Anna Dunis and Dylan Frigiola with Homedale High School's Spirit Week Battle of the Classes. Then, Rocco and Brevedudo has all the buzz on the fall play empowered. Also, we'll hear from the members of the Youth Alliance Club, including my co-anchor, Lainey, Marissa Bahal, Jamie DeSico, and Rachel Quirk, who recently visited SATS for the annual Great American Smokeout. Finally, Hunter Kunzel, Christian Kalb, and CJ Vanderwettering tested your knowledge with Thanksgiving trivia. But first, we'll kick things off with the annual Powder Puff game. First up, the juniors. Here's Alexia and Elena with their story. Hello everyone, it's Alexia Zambito and tonight is Powder Puff and the juniors gonna win. Let's go check it out. Let's go juniors! So here we have our coach, Andrew Piscatelli. So what's our game plan? So we're gonna pass the ball and then we're gonna try to catch the ball and then try to score the ball and then defend the ball. And let's go for no broken nails today, that would be bad. We're going to use our defense and not get the ball into the end zone. Wait, not let the seniors get the ball into the end zone. I think we are going to need a really good defense team. That way the running back can get through every single time. Um, I think it's going to be just all staying on like the same page, communicating with each other and working as a team. Family. 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 Who's most likely to break a nail? Definitely Crystal. Emily. Kayla. It's Maisie. Sorry, yeah. 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 Also, Bella Bon Jovi, her nails are pretty long. I would say Maya Lund, uh, she has broken some in the past. On a scale of 1 to 10, how confident are you in the juniors winning? I'm going to have to say we're 10 out of 10. Uh, the seniors are known for cheating and we all know that, but uh, we're going to come out here positive. Uh, I think 11 out of 10 because we have some great players playing on the field right now. They run hard and they're really into it. And we have a great coaching staff, so I think the juniors are going to come out on top. We're going to do a lot of off-season practicing and we're going to come back and probably win like 24-0. It's been a good season, 33 out. 2024 is going to be a different story, that's all I need to hear. And that's a wrap of this year's 2023 Powder Puff. The juniors should have won and I should have remembered to wear glo gloves, but oh well. Back to you at the studio. Thanks Alexia and Elena. The juniors definitely put up a good fight, but ultimately, the seniors were victorious. Let's toss it over to B. Ong on the senior sideline.
Okay, you made some pretty good tackles this game. How do you feel? I'm feeling pretty pumped so far. The seniors are winning. I think we're going to beat them. Go seniors! That was a great touchdown. How do you feel? I feel great. It just feels like it's amazing because last year we didn't win and then like they tried claiming our flags were tied and then I opened it in front of them. It's literally not tied. So I don't know, but it was great. I felt good. Dragging, being dragged, it was fun. You feel like this year definitely did you justice? Yes, I believe so. I, I mean, I guess we're winning. It's 14, so I'm great. I feel great. How do you guys feel after winning Powder Pop? Yay! We love it. Good, good, we're so happy we won. Yeah. We're so happy we won. Yeah. I feel amazing. Seniors took the dub as they should, so. Woo! All right, how do you guys feel after this win? We're feeling great! Senior season, dubs only. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! And that's a wrap on this year's senior side of the Powder Puff game. Back to you at the studio. Thanks, B, and great job to all of the seniors in this year's game. You guys killed it. It seems that the seniors were on a roll during Spirit Week. Not only did we take down the juniors in Powder Puff 14 to nothing, but the next day we took yet another dub at the Battle of the Classes. Here's Anna Dunis and Dylan Frigiola in the middle of all the action. What's up everyone? Welcome to this year's annual Battle of the Classes, where each class will be competing against each other. Go sophomores! <laughs> Anna and Dylan. Each grade put up a tough fight and juniors won tug of war. So that should basically count as winning the whole thing, right? <laughs> 
From one winner to another, Rocco Impreveduto made his interviewing debut talking to the cast of Empowered on closing night. Let's hear from Rocco in the HTG. And who knows, maybe I'll even make a cameo. Hi Hornets, I'm Rocco and I'm here to talk with the cast of Homedell Theater Guild's fall play Empowered, how one Girl Scout nearly destroyed the world's economy. Let's hear it. I play a Girl Scout named Mackenzie, the best Girl Scout ever. One box. We have a variety of layers. I play Sparkles the Unicorn. He sings, he dances, and he dies. I play the role as Pots. Pots? He's a weird, creepy boy that is obsessed over Amaryllis. He's a very romantic guy. I've been working on some slam poetry. I played Amaryllis. Amaryllis is, she starts off as this Girl Scout who's not really well liked by the other Girl Scouts. She's not very confident. But then over the course of the show, she becomes more empowered and she becomes a little crazy. My favorite line, like that I say, is, um, you're so much hotter than my mom, by far. <laughs> she's like, acts all ditzy, but she has a dark side. Please, 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 I'm gonna hate myself. I'm gonna do it, and it's gonna be all your fault, please, please. That'll be four dollars. for taking the time to talk to us and congratulations to everyone who performed in the show. Now back to you at the studio. Thanks Rocco. A huge round of applause to the cast and crew for putting on an amazing show. Stay on the lookout for the winter musical. Moving on, the Youth Alliance Club recently ran the Great American Smoke Out over at SATS. My fellow club members and I can tell you more about it. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Marissa Bahal. I'm Rachel Hort. I'm Jamie Nasico. Today we're going to be asking questions to the Youth Alliance Club at the Great American Smoke Out. The Great American Smoke Out is to inform middle schoolers on drug prevention. Let's see what they have to say. I'm here with Ms. Kudich, the student assistant counselor. Ms. K, why is the Great American Smoke Out so important? It's so important that we educate students on all the dangers of substances so that they know what the risks are these days. And prevention is key. Hi, who am I here with? Maddie Luttrell. And what is your presentation on today? Um, it's on bath salts, which is a type of drug that is called synthetic cathione. And it's not actually a bath salt, which a lot of the SAT students get confused with because they think it like is part of the bath, but no. Um, it's a really like harmful drug that you can either snort or swallow, and it's important to inform them about it because they probably have like no idea what it is. And educating themselves on it will help them prevent from doing it. Thank you. So guys, what is your project about? Our project is about caffeine and mainly the downfalls of caffeine and the overuse of energy drinks. And we also talk about the long-term and short-term effects and just the withdrawal in general. Hi, who am I here with today? Ava Rabano. And what are you trying to convey with your poster? So we're doing athletes abusing drugs and I think it's a good thing to spread to the younger kids, especially since before I researched I didn't know this stuff and there's a lot of athletes and they don't know the outcome of some of the stuff that they're using. Thank you. So what is your presentation on and why do you think it's important to inform the SATS kids about it? So our uh, presentation is on alcohol and it's like effects on the people. I think it's important that we should tell the SATS kids because they're about to be coming to the high school and you never know what you can see at high school. Thank you. 
I'm Jack. I'm Matt. And I'm Dan. And, and we say, say no to alcohol. The Great American Smokeout was a huge success. It's great to see the high schoolers teaching younger students about the dangers of drugs and the importance of mental and physical wellness. Finally for today's show, we have a special Thanksgiving trivia segment from our new advanced studio production class. Hunter Kunzel, CJ Vander Wittering, and Christian Kalb went around the school asking students about their Thanksgiving knowledge. Let's dig in on Homedale's knowledge about the turkey trivia. Hello, Home Dub Buzz. My name is Hunter Kunzel, your host for Thanksgiving Trivia. Join with my lovely co-hosts, CJ and Christian. We'll be bringing you guys along to interview the you know students of Homedale and see their trivia about this festive holiday season. We made our way to the auditorium, and here we're going to start interviewing and asking some students questions. Hello, guys. I'm here with Kusei. It's Hunter once again, and I'm joined with Cassie and Gabby. Okay. Hi, it's CJ again. I'm here with Teddy. Nice to meet you. Hi, uh, QSA. When was the first Thanksgiving established? 1855. Pilgrim Day. I don't. <laughs> what? What year? <laughs> 1600s. I okay. I think it was 1800s. I don't know. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Okay, you're closer, oh. but it was 1789. Next question. How many turkeys are prepared for Thanksgiving every year? 1.7 million. I want to say like 13 trillion? A billion. One billion? <laughs> I think like mm, a little over a thousand. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Right. In the country. A thousand turkeys in the country? In the co a, thousand. a thousand? <laughs> Seven hundred thousand. Forty-six million turkeys. Man. You a sports guy by any chance? Yeah. Uh, what NFL team has played every single Thanksgiving since 1934? Lions? The Lakers. I have no idea. Patriots, I would guess. Patriots. Yeah. Yes! First one to get it! How long was the first Thanksgiving? How long was it? Yes. Uh, an hour. 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> I would say like... Mm, two days. Three nights? Yeah, yeah, I guess that counts. Three days. Oh, wow. sure. This one is very easy. It's common sense. What are the three Thanksgiving colors? Brown, orange, and yellow. Yeah, brown, orange, and yellow. Brown, orange, and yellow? He's gotten the most correct so far. Congratulations. Yellow, brown, and black. Ah, so close. It was orange, yellow, brown. So yeah. two out of three. Not bad. Thank you. That is correct. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. It seems we aren't all blessed with the knowledge of how many turkeys there are in the U.S., Anyways, now that Thanksgiving is over, I'm finally ready to get into the holiday spirit. I've decorated my house and I've been listening to my holiday playlist all week. I know, I can't wait to buy gifts for my friends and family, bake cookies, and get into the Christmas spirit. Anyways, that's a wrap for this week's episode of The Horner Report. In the meantime, remember to add us on social media. Our Twitter and Instagram are at HHS Hornet Report, and our Snapchat is at Hornet Report. Thanks so much for joining us and be sure to join us next time where we'll bring you this week's best at HHS. <laughs>